retail veteran Sir Terry Leahy is stepping down as chairman from BNM Bargains five years on from taking the role and steering the discount retailer onto the stock market in 2014. Since listing three years ago, BNM Bargains market valuation has grown by around pound one BN to three pounds eight BN as the cut price chain has been one of the few retailers to shrug off consumer spending concerns and escape the post-Brexit retail woes. BNM Bargains has grown sales rapidly under Sir Terry's guidance for the past decade with revenues jumping from £993 million to £2.7 BN on the back of an aggressive expansion plan. Emily Stella, senior retail analyst at Global Data, said that the former Tesco's chief's departure had unsettled investors with the share price dipping by 4 pc in early trading. Simon Aurora, chief executive of BNM, said that Sir Terry's departure was following good corporate governance and highlighted that the former Tesco boss joined the business as part of his role at private equity firm Clayton Dubal Liar & Rice, which was originally a majority investor in BNM. It now owns less than 5 PC. Sir Terry will be succeeded by Peter Bamford, Supergroup chairman and former Vodafone marketing director. Peter will be a solid pair of hands for our next stage of growth. Mr. Aurora said. The cut price retailer also reported a 7.5 PC increase in UK like for like sales for the six months to September with pre tax profits rising by 17.8 PC to £86.8 million. Analysts at Peel Hunt commented that nobody in the analytical community expected like for like sales to accelerate in the second quarter, but it did so. However, pre-tax profits were slightly below city consensus. BNM also dismissed concerns that its reliance on branded food goods, such as Heinz Ketchup and Weetabix, meant that it was more exposed than other food retailers to rising costs pressures from suppliers and said that its grocery business had outperformed the rest of the market. Tony Charette, analyst at Whitman Howard, had commented that BNM was structurally disadvantaged by its reliance on branded grocery products which are significantly more expensive than the own label products available in the market. However, Mr. Aurora countered that BNM customers want brands, they don't necessarily want own label copies. The business recently bulked up in food with its surprise purchase of cut price northern convenience retailer Heron Foods in August. The business plans to open 15 new Heron shops this year and 50 new BNM stores as part of its plan to grow its existing store estate of 542 stores to 950. Trevor Green, fund manager at Aviva Investors, said that he remained a fully supportive top five shareholder in BNM bargains. The strategy in the UK is working and that there is still plenty of scope for more store openings highlights that their customer base is expanding and brand recognition still increasing, he said. BNM boss Mr Aurora said that the company would continue to prosper in the challenging retail environment as British shoppers need a bargain, they don't just want one, as household budgets come under strain.